Hey guys, how are you? Tonight is a special night, a night that's sort of cool, but a night that's sort of sad for me. It's my sort of final trip down to Bosala, my favorite hoppy shop in the world, not just Kuwait. So I'm gonna be heading down there tonight and uh, I'm gonna do a video from there. But, um, geez, what a, what a mixture of emotions, huh? Sort of four years in Kuwait and that place has been freaking awesome. So I'll, I'll do a video from there and I'll, I'll give you an update, okay? Guys, this is like a bit of a journey because I'm at Fahad Bosala's shop in Kuwait. I've been coming here for four years and it is awesome. It's like the best hobby shop in the world. I'm just gonna show you the outside. And on one side here, we've got a lot of Gundam, fantasy figures, like everything there in the fantasy realm models and collectibles and then over here we've got some dioramas on display like the military aircraft tanks aircraft a bit more gun down there's even a little diorama gulf war diorama lots of tanks and stuff and there's actually there used to be a lot more here's some motorbikes and stuff and let's, let's go inside the shop. So, when I first came here four years ago, I met Fahad, and so Fahad awesome. is even like, not only the shop owner, he's like my brother, you know, like when we yeah. met, what an awesome guy. He really has such an amazing stock inside here. On the, on the left here, he's got like four Bandai, high grade, everything. Yeah, which is very, it's very popular in Asia and the, the Gundam stock is really popular here. A little bit less so in the UK, but um, I'm going to see if I can get that as well. And really, I bought a lot of Star Wars models here really? as well. They are, they are awesome from Bandai. And um, when I've always come here, the, the biggest thing that I've been impressed about is if I had always had like the latest kits in. And like, just for an example, here's some of the, the TACOM range and some of the Meng, and you can you can spot straight away that the new releases, uh, a lot of trumpeteer stuff, and even there, like that Hanabu, like I haven't even seen that before, and of course the Tamiya F14, loads of classic dragon kits as well, I bought plenty of them, full Tamiya range, even smear kits as well, like Ravel, and look at this, look at the top, look at the top we've got like Zukimura SMS which are high grade kits the 148 scale trumpeteer submarine which is like amazing look at this the BB-8 from Bandai as well the, the big uh, half scale model and like this is the um, piece de resistance for me is the full 
Mr. Hobby range. Like, there isn't one color missing here. Everything is here. The full range, the, um, the paint sets, the spray cans, and then it even gets better. Look at this. Like, every single tool from Mr. Hobby is here, listed. Uh, we've got all the ancillary products as well, like tapes and stuff. So it's a real mecca for modelers. There's like MIG ammo here, which we all know. So like MIG ammo is here in Kuwait, which is fantastic as well. So that's just a quick look around. I'm going to miss this place so much. It is really, seriously, it's the best hobby shop I've been to in my life. But I'm really hoping to see Farhad in the future, and he's always my brother. So thank you very much, and we will see you. And we're gonna visit you in UK. Oh, that is fine. You will, sir. You will. Yes. Thank you so much, Farhad. Thank, thank you, you for you everything. Thank you very much, and I will complete my T55. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>
We need to get some paint down it, but I'm just retracting that one. on but uh, immediately I'm impressed you can see the the quality of this airbrush immediately it's just the action is a really good indicator of quality you know with the high-end airbrushes um, Iwata's and um, Cardinal Steinbeck's is nice smooth to allow control of course when we're, we're painting So I'll put that to one side. Now, a lot of this is in Japanese. In fact, all of it is in Japanese, but it's very self-explanatory. See what we've got inside here. I've noticed it's quite difficult to find um, quite good airbrush stands, ones that will balance the airbrush, as in you're not going to have it fall over. So simply, this is a steel tray and then a base with two magnets in it, two strong magnets that very firmly attach to the base there. The standard metal tube fits inside there. And then of course the airbrush holder itself. And that guy. I believe, does it go on that way? Does it go on that way? Oh, I think we are upside down. It must be this way. Check the diagrams. No, no, it is this way. It is this way. Yeah, it is. It's just, yeah, it is. Okay, right. So it works like so. Um, that is very solid. It's just not going to go anywhere. Okay, maybe a little bit of flex on there, but really that is, that's good. That's very good, very solid. And I believe this is, yeah, okay. We have some feet for the base that we can put onto the, you know, some self adhesive rubber sort of bases. And I think there might be an adapter for trigger style airbrushes. So I might show you this again with a with a, a trigger airbrush to see how that stands. But um, two very nice items. Hope you enjoy the review. Any comments, just put them down below.